Today, I'm grooming a very scared, sometimes aggressive, and super pelted puppy. This is Cricket, and it's his second time being groomed, and let me explain his situation and why I didn't call animal control. Actually, animal control wouldn't really help in situations like this because they count, like, the owners taking their dog in for their groom as them taking care of their dog, so... But anyways, Cricket was adopted by his mom, and his mom's stepsister had the dog and was not able to take care of her dog, and so she gave it to her mom. And her mom also was not able to take care of her dog, and her mom thinks that the stepsister might have abused him at some point in his lifetime, even though he's only a year old. The stepsister's mom was also not able to take care of Cricket, so he was passed down to um, the other daughter of the mom. In situations like these, it's kind of hard to like point a finger at anybody and why this dog got neglected for so long. Like, he was not good for the groom, he was just honestly very, very, very scared, and it was his front feet that he was just really difficult for. I was going really slow and being very gentle with him, but he still wasn't letting me run my clipper down his legs. I don't know if there's any groomers here, but I started with a 7 blade, moved to a 10, a 15, a 20, and I finally had to do a 30 on him to get through the tightest mats. This is kind of what I was saying before in my previous video about how people get dogs and don't know how to take care of them and then they end up in situations like these where it's not fair for the dog and I'm not blaming the dog for his behavior in any way whatsoever because it's not his fault. He, this is only his second groom, he's scared, and this is how he fights back. It sucks because he really should be going to the vet to get vet groomed. In these next two or three appointments, if I'm not seeing any progress with him and he's not letting me touch his front legs at all, then um, we either need to go on a grooming sedative or he just needs to get vet groomed. I really don't like sending dogs away to the vet and sending dogs for a sedative, especially since this dog is only a year old and I feel like I can work with him, but sometimes it's just really inevitable because of trauma and abuse. I'm sure you guys are seeing me like bouncing back and forth a lot like you'll see me doing the legs and then I'll be back to the face and I'll be going to the body and this is because dogs in his situation you have to groom like this because if you don't they will not put up with a certain part and it might ruin the experience of grooming for them and they might act bad for grooming like forever. So basically I just don't want to push him too far and force him to anything that he really does not want to do breaks are also very necessary and you gotta like sometimes like hum and make weird noises so it distracts them so you're able to do like what i'm doing here where i'm shaving his face before he would try and bite me but i was literally screaming like a maniac and that calmed him down so hey i'll take it i did the best i possibly could on his haircut i really tried here guys i know it's not perfect but our tools are sharp and i just want what's best for his safety Bye, Cricket!